In this guide, you'll learn about the self-diagnostic features of Ream 874 and 876 series gas continuous flow water heaters. We'll show you how to enable maintenance mode, a useful diagnostic tool that can help you to quickly identify a fault with the water heater. We'll also show you how to read and understand a range of common error codes. This guide is designed for authorised plumbers, installers and service agents only. There is a risk of electric shock, scalding or burns if installation, commissioning and all required safety procedures are not followed. The removal of any electrical covers will expose 240 volt wiring and hot surfaces. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment to prevent burns or scalding. Wear insulated gloves and use insulated tools to reduce the risk of coming into contact with any electrical hazard. When undertaking service or diagnostic work on the water heater, it is recommended that a residual current device is used between the power point and the water heater to reduce the risk of electric shock. Note the location of the LED status display on the front of the water heater. If a fault is detected, an error code will appear on the display. Note that power must be available to the water heater for the display to work. A diagnostic chart and maintenance reference table is located on the inside of the front cover. The chart shows the error code, the fault condition and information relating to the relevant diagnostic points within the water heater. A useful diagnostic tool, Maintenance Mode lets you view the water heater's current and historical operation information from the system memory. Maintenance Mode can be enabled from the water heater or from a remote temperature controller. The maintenance reference table can be found in the diagnostic chart supplied with the water heater and can also be obtained from Ream technical support. Remove the front cover from the water heater. Note the location of the LED display and the PC board, including the dip switches and the min and max buttons. It may be necessary to withdraw the PC board slightly to gain access to the dip switches and buttons. Temporarily isolate the water heater from the power supply before withdrawing the PC board. Using an insulated tool, set dip switch 1 to on. The display will flash 0E Use the MAX button to change the left digit 0 to 1 on the display to the required maintenance code. Use the MIN button to change the right digit E to F on the display to the required maintenance code. The maintenance code and the value of that code will alternate on the LED display. Let's look at a couple of examples. Example 1. To recall up to the last 8 recorded error codes, Select E using the MIN button and cycle through 1 to 8 using the MAX button. The error code will alternate on the display. Example 2. To find the water inlet temperature, select Y using the MIN button and select 3 using the MAX button. The temperature will display in degrees C, in this example 14 degrees C. Note. Setting dip switch 2 to on will lock the display if required. When diagnosis is complete, set dip switch 1 to off. Refit the front panel to the water heater. Tighten screws firmly and fit the finisher trims. To access maintenance mode from a temperature controller, begin by ensuring the controller is turned off. Press and hold the temperature increase and decrease buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds. Use the temperature increase button to change the left digit on the display to the required maintenance code. Use the temperature decrease button to change the right digit on the display to the required maintenance code. The maintenance code and the value of that code will alternate on the LED display of the remote controller. Let's look at two more examples from the maintenance table. Example 1. To find the hot water outlet temperature, select Y using the decrease button and select 5 using the increase button. The temperature will display in degrees C, in this example 45 degrees C. Example 2. To find the water flow rate through the water heater, select Y using the decrease button and select 1 using the increase button. The water flow rate will display in litres per minute, in this example 
three and a half liters per minute. To exit maintenance mode, press the on off button twice. Turn the remote controller on for normal operation. In the event of a fault with the water heater, an error code may appear on the LED display. This code can be referenced on the error code chart located on the inside of the water heater's front cover. Some error codes may point to a fault that is easy to diagnose and remedy on site. Other codes may point to a significant system or component fault that may require technical support or a service call. If the fault cannot be diagnosed and remedied on site, record the error code and contact Ream Technical Support or Ream Service. Coming up next, we'll review some of the common error codes that can be diagnosed on site. Code 3 refers to a potential communication fault with the EasyLink cable between two water heaters. Confirm link cable is installed correctly. Codes 74, 75 and 76 refer to potential communication faults between the water heater and remote temperature controllers. Confirm link cable is installed correctly. Where multiple controllers are installed, check that cables are correctly installed between controllers and the water heater. Note that a maximum of three controllers can be connected to a single water heater. Finally, check for compatibility where a new water heater may have been installed with an earlier model controller. Codes 10, 90 and 99 refer to a potential fault where a flue blockage may be present or where there was a flame out due to a gust of wind. Inspect flue outlet for blockage. Turn the water heater off and then on. If the error code is still present, contact Ream Technical Support. Note, for code 99, cycle dip switch 2 on, then off, and then within 5 seconds, hold min and max buttons together until UL code stops flashing. Run a hot tap and leave on. Then go back outside and turn off water heater for 5 seconds, and then turn on again. If the error code persists, contact Ream Technical Support. Codes 11 and 12 refer to an ignition failure at startup or flame failure during operation. Confirm gas pipe sizing and gas supply pressure is correct, with all gas appliances running. On an LPG installation, check cylinder level. Close all hot taps and cycle power off and on at the power point and then open a hot tap. If the error code persists, contact Ream Technical Support. Code 14. The overheat limiter has failed, or the water heater has overheated and stopped operating. In the event of this fault occurring, contact Ream Service. Code 65 indicates there is a malfunction in the water volume control motor, or a water bypass control fault. If no flow, check inlet strainer and hot water outlet for blockage, and flush water through the unit. If no blockage is present, contact Ream Service. Code 24. Check that operational switches are working and not stuck or damaged. Code 73 and 82 refer to a fault on the gas type circuit board. Confirm circuit board is installed correctly. No loose pins or connections. Significant system or component faults. Codes 31, 32, 33 and 34 refer to a fault with an open circuit present on the inlet thermistor, heat exchanger thermistor, outlet thermistor or ambient air thermistor and require a call for service. The remaining error codes point to a system or component fault that is outside of the plumber's scope to remedy on site. Where these error codes appear, record the error code and contact Ream Service. For technical support on all Ream products, contact us on 1300 712 863 or to book a service call, contact us on 131 031. To see other videos in the Ream Tech Tips series, visit ream.com.au or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ream Australia.